एक्शन पापा 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 सुनाई दे रहा है बेरा नहीं हूं मैं सॉरी आई वॉट एम रॉस्ट इतना अकम्पलिशमेंट के बाद अकम्पलिशमेंट इन देंस लाइक ही किल एवरीबडी सो दिस नो एनी मीन back of the man he knew that there is one more guy left but the main guy is gone now he comes home he says like papa will go for a holiday when he gets to the father is going to die so he feeling aata hai what is the point what you have you achieved to sab kuch karke anyways your father is going to die so usse zyada you know pathetic and uh, sad ending kuch hoga nahi and that too uske baad bhi uh, you know father is talking in one particular way he's saying you know he, the way he's reacting and the father is saying you know you chup chap baitho baitho and he's not listening to it and he says something tumne damad ko ye kiya tha then he gets angry he says to criminal hai kuch bhi nahi hai so i want him to say like anyways like okay now ek to keh raha hai ki kuch nahi hone dunga papa aapko but andar hi andar pata hai ki ye khatam hone wala hai so i thought like entire life ko to bol nahi sakta time bhi nahi hai so i use that in the dialogue papa pura zindagi to main kar nahi sakte you know role exchange kyunki aapke paas time nahi hai ek din ka kar then that ek din like i thought like i'll take him little up That's why you felt surprised in the trailer. Trailer also. The teaser me tha padu khara hai. Trailer me ulta ye baat kar raha. But that actually held the attention because we started with the conflict again. Usually kya hota hai? Such scenes me like they sit sob and all that. But here the angst is thing is not settling yet. Even when the father comes in the corridor and says, "Tu beta me papa" and all that, me beta tu papa, which he said in when he was a child in the letter. The same thing. Father is playing ulta till you know. But the way Ranbir looks at him is like you know I don't know whether you really changed or you're just saying it for the heck of it. There are mixed uh, feeling, mixed expressions there as well because you can take anything you want based on how your travel is from the first scene to the climax. So it's a beautiful scene. Ranbir nailed it. Anil ji took it another level. Great amalgamation of both actors and uh, cut to his crying, holding uh, Mr. Uncle, Uncle, what me? What do I do? So all that. It's too much of a dramatic highs. I felt, you know, people were crying in the set when looking at the scene. So it really uh, worked. Yeah. Hi, this is Sandeep Reddy Vanga. You are watching Mashable Third Floor. See this one uh, music. I wanted to sound like a real scenario, so I wanted to use existing music on. And I know the band Theory Band from a very long time. They were playing something on an Arjun Reddy audio function. So since then I know them. So I saw their videos on the YouTube. So I called them literally. So they were performing also in the scene. The actual Theory Band. So a big fan of Rahman sir's uh, work and his music and Roja being the favorite. And uh, I thought to make it more real as well, like you know the ground floor party chal raha hai or upper uh, engagement. Right. So that's why I thought, like, rather than getting into a new background score, the existing piece of music will always give nostalgic, you know, for the people. I mean, nineties we are in school in nineties, right? So yeah, it's only. So I wanted one exciting shot when in, in the bike entry. So we got that little because zada bhi dikhaye to bore hai bike ka shot. It I want to like a very short glimpse. And from the day one, I thought we'll use Moonwalk because he's a Michael Jackson fan. So dialogue may be R R O may be poster say. I thought that detail we'll use, but I didn't want to put a shot on the feet. You know, I thought like I'll just be on the face only. You know, it's still it's a Moonwalk because the way he's sliding back. So I didn't want to have a shot on the feet. Raying का season तो अभी तक शुरू भी नहीं हुआ है, madam. अभी तो जलवा बाकी है. See the whole emotion of it is like when the boy enters the class and says, "Like, kiss me, cheda mere bhai ko." So everybody will be mocking at him, saying, "Like, the school ke bache bhi cheda ne lagay." And if you notice, there is a weird uh, sense of understanding between the students and the professor. The cracking jokes, even the professor is feeling like, you know, if, if you notice what nonsense, why is he interrupting my class? Rather than understanding, maybe she has been racked. And uh, I don't know how many people noticed. It is a heat and mass transfer ka lecture chal raha hai, and the teacher what she is giving an example also in the background she is talking about a classical example of heat and mass transfer is a bullet exiting a machine gun. I don't know how many people noticed it. So even Ben बोलती है कि वो final year के mechanical के students है, तो तू क्या करेगा? Then Didi बैठो गाड़ी में, and the way he walks and uh, so everybody are mocking at him and uh, says Didi आया रुकना I'll come back. So they must be thinking like ये क्या आपे क्या होगा? 
and the, the whole idea was to just get that rifle on the face of the audience. So we had really walking like that, there's a swing of the hand, so we, I didn't want to disturb. So it took almost like 14 to 15 takes to just to get the swing right with the gimbal and the hand movement of the gun. And uh, that was almost first or second day of working with Amit Roy. From that scene, actually, we started having a sync. It took almost two hours to get the shot right because I, di I didn't have another shot also. Because having a corridor shot with a gun, it doesn't make any sense because the effect of it, what And with that, bang with that song, even the girl says, the cut to this is the jalwa. To give it to the audience with that guitar, you know, music and his walking and he enters and shooting down and, and he goes onto the steps and put the gun and automatically they'll get up and give the answer in a different way. The reverence, the respect and everything, the attention is changed just like that. That's the power of a, a rifle, you know. See, how much ever unnatural this process is when you compare it to the real life. A man folding his sleeves, you know, keeping the axe under his armpits and walking into the 50 people. It's an old idea, we are seeing it from a long time, but it always has a calling, it always has a calling. So I felt like it's a very heroic shot. When the hero is going into the crowd, the people who are in the background, we always feel like he can easily shoot now. Why is he not shooting from the back? But I always feel that when the person is coming with such a fierce, even the opponents have that fear like, what is this? What is this? You know, maybe his expertise in uh, you know, doing the axe movement. So this was a basic idea and I always, I knew when he's going. And my cousin says, Dekh uh, mere kitne bande ya, something like that in Punjabi he says. So I just didn't want them to just quietly be the spectator. I want them to sing a song. So that will be the lip sync. I never had a lip sync song till now. Every song is like a background score. So I was searching, I wanted to have a very a rural kind of a sounding song, which has that impact in it. I was searching in the YouTube because um, I know there is a lot of folk, Punjabi folk. I have, I'm aware of it. So luckily we found uh, Babalji's song. It's there from five years on the YouTube. It's only 350 views. The same tune, same song, but Manan has included some beats and piano and all that, he took it to another level after that. The entire interval sequence we shot in 16 days, including the Freddy's discussion till the end shot, the hero falls down. Wahantak we shot in 16 days. Few things I didn't get. I wanted the speech to be in a steel factory with the furnace in the background. Because his, his speech is so fuming, hot-headed speech. So I thought like symbolism will be great if there's a furnace, but it didn't happen. That's an example. I saw which I couldn't achieve, so then, yeah.